Hey guys, what's up? It's G from Print Zebra. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing my Epson SCF570 wide format dye sublimation printer. This thing prints beautiful, amazing prints, 24 inches wide. If you're interested in something like that, let's get into it. Okay guys, so this is the Epson SCF570 wide format dye sublimation printer. First of all, let me let y'all know. I bought this with my own money and Epson did not sponsor this video. And I did not make any money from any sales of this printer. With that said, I'm here to give you my honest opinion. The Epson F570 came on a FedEx truck in huge packaging. It cost me $2,500 and I bought it from Texas. It was on worldwide back order and after three to four days, of me calling and calling and unleashing the mother of all internet searches, I was lucky enough to get it. I'll leave all the links below in the description. You could buy it with or without a stand, and I chose not to get a stand. You need two people to carry it inside and set it up safely. It's huge, but it's beautiful. It's approximately 38 by 20, and it stands about nine inches high off the desk. Without the stand, it weighs a whopping 84 pounds. You will immediately know you need a sturdy place to put it. You will also need a computer to run this beauty. The good thing is it worked with Mac OS and Windows. So straight out of the box, it came with three rolls of paper, a 24 inch roll and two 17 inch rolls. Each roll was 100 feet long. Whew. That's a lot of paper. It lasts me a very long time. Did a lot, a lot of shirts, a lot of jobs with it. I still got a new untouched 17 inch roll that came with it. I did buy another 24 inch 100 foot roll because that's the size I use the most. It also comes with eight 140 milliliter bottles of ink, two bottles of each color, black, cyan, yellow, and magenta. The bottles of ink are low cost and they last a very long time. So long that I had it for eight months and now it's time for us to change the ink. It comes with eight of these boxes, 140 milliliters of ink a piece, black, cyan, yellow, and magenta. And if you look over here on the screen, you can see and saying it's nearly time to reset the ink levels. So we got to make sure we reset the ink levels. As you can see over here, my ink is very, very low. Like I said, that's eight months of ink. So the first thing we got to do to get this accomplished, you hit settings. All right, then you go over here to maintenance. All right, reset the ink level. The first thing we want to do is open these boxes. We're not going to need them again. So we open these box. That's the black. That's the cyan. This is the yellow. And the other one is obviously the magenta. Okay, so once you get the ink bottles out of the box, you're gonna need scissors to open the packaging. They are vacuum sealed for freshness. They've been sitting for eight months at least, and they come out brand new. So this is pretty straightforward. Get you some scissors, cut away the excess. Okay, so we got black, magenta, yellow, and cyan, right? You wanna come over here and open up this lid like this. So once you got your ink out of the plastic, you wanna agitate the inks. You don't wanna shake it up because it'll get bubbles in it. You just agitate it and get the ink mixed up like this. It just just the same good effect. So this one has slight bubbles in it, so we're gonna go even lighter with this one. 
Now, Epson has made like an eco tank system and it's like easy to refill these bottles. There's no spill to these, none. When I say no spill, I mean it. Make sure you get all of that ink moving around in there. And since it's been sitting so long, I'm gonna do them more. I'm gonna do them all again. You don't have to do them one at a time. I believe the way they have the eco tank system set up, that is not really a problem because I haven't had a problem with this at all. Okay, so here it's even labeled black, magenta, yellow, cyan. So what you wanna do is you wanna lift this up, the black, the magenta, the yellow, and the cyan. Now, if you wanted to, now these right here, if you guys don't remember from the first video, you only use these when you move in the printer because this will make sure that the ink is in, it stays in, it's like caps for your ink um, tanks. Okay, so right here, first thing you wanna do is open this black up. You turn it upside down, it's not gonna spill. It only starts once you put it in here. If you can hear it, and also see that it's filling up directly in there. And you just let it fill. It'll stop when it gets full. Okay, so you can hear that that stopped. And look closely, guys. This is how you take it out. Nothing special. No cleaning to do whatsoever. It's still ink in here, all the way up to here. So when it gets low, you can refill, okay? The first time you need the whole bottles because it fills up like a reserve tank. So we just keep on going for the process of the rest of the four bottles. Same thing, easy peasy. Turn it upside down, fit it, make sure the colors are matching. No spill. Like I said, guys, it really doesn't spill. The way they made it, it's perfect. So we're gonna cap these other tops as we go along to ensure we don't make a mistake. Okay, so now the yellow, which is the lowest. Oh, and now also from me seeing these bottles, guys, if y'all look, when it was upside down, I did see a little bit of pigment. And you can see over here, like a little bit of extra color, it looks like that's on the sides. So I'm going to agitate, and I do remember it looking like this. I'm going to agitate the bottles of these two a little bit more just to make sure I get as much as I can. And knowing that there's going to be some left, I don't have to worry about bubbles because it'll give it time to settle. And also give me time to order more ink. Which I'm going to do right after this video. Even though it's going to take a long time, I would always rather have a supply just in case I get a big job and I get low and it's on back order. Cause that's one thing about having this machine is everybody wants it so it goes on back order it's probably on back order now still to this day okay so like i said it's easy load before we would have spilled it all over the place okay the yellow's finished and we still have some of the yellow in the bottom I figured I'd wait until we get to the yellow because I knew you guys would be able to see how much is in this. You see it? Okay, so now I have put the top one here and do the cyan and we'll be done. hundred and forty milliliters of ink. First I'm gonna close this cap. Be safe. And Look, I would have been spilling it, but I 
about it. And thanks to the eco tank. What a wonderful invention. Cyan sounds like it's racing in there. Okay, so now that you filled your ink tank, you close the top and everything is complete. But before you do anything else, I would strongly advise that if you do still have the boxes to these, to put them back in the box and save them and then when you see it get down to about three quarters to a half a tank, you just refill it and use the rest of the ink in here. So you give it a, do the same process that we just did. Okay, now we're gonna put these away and go to the next step. So now it says refill up the ink to the upper line as we did already and press the proceed button. So that's what we'll do. It says select the colors you Refill, then proceed. We refill them all. Oh, we didn't select the colors. Okay, so it says select the colors, you refill, then proceed. So we, we got this one, this one, this one, and this one. Is the ink black, magenta, yellow, and cyan filled up to the upper line? Yes, yes, yes. It's been reset. Okay. Okay. So that's how you reset or refill the ink on the Epson SC F570. Okay, so if you're in the market for a wide format dye sublimation printer, you cannot go wrong with this Epson SC F570. It prints 24 inches wide and 100 feet long. It's a no-brainer. I can honestly say that I will fully recommend this product and I've already made my money back on my purchase. If I have anything that you want to know about printing in general, just leave it in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Once again, it's your boy G. Peace.